Next one. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't, he looks like a raisin, dude. Oh my god. Who made this list? Hey, um, I just submitted my last final for, um, sorry, I'm very sleep deprived and I just got over being sick. I just submitted my last final for my first semester of senior year of college. So that's cool. Uh, I figured I'd do a funny video because I've had a very stressful week and I'm exhausted and I'm sick if you can't tell from under the mask. So what I thought we'd do today is go over this <laughs> go over this article of the worst Marvel costume adaptations. <laughs> I don't know why I decided this would be a funny video, but I saw this article and I'm I just, I don't know. I saw this article and I thought it would be funny to react to it. I haven't, I've seen the first one. I haven't scrolled through it yet. I don't know how many are on here. But yeah, I thought it'd be funny to react to these. So, let's get into it. What are the worst Marvel costume adaptations? Look, I try to be the most optimistic person I can. And I'm probably going to try to find a way to defend most of these. But who is texting me now? As though if you see this, you're the one who texted me and you gotta stop, bro. I'm, I'm just playing. Anyway, I try to be an optimist, so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to find a reason some of these are good, but I let's just get into it. So number one is the infamous X Men Origins Deadpool. I <laughs> oh my god, I was trying to say something nice about it, and Mother Nature just told me not to. I think my favorite thing about this one. It's just the joke that he plays in Deadpool when he, like, kicks himself off the balcony. I mean, there's not much I have to say about this one. I'm not really a fan of the Sharpie-drawn tattoos on it and the... Dude, honestly, how are you gonna... Okay, they definitely did that shit intentionally. They took the Merc with a mouth and just, like, sewed it shut. That was done intentionally. And I don't know who decided to do that, but that was just vile. Whoever decided to do that just needed to lose their job. Next one. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No! no! That is not happening right now! Bro! <laughs> Bro looks like Mr. Clean! Bro looks like Tomato Mr. Clean! What is that? Is that Red Skull? Dog! No! That's Red Skull. Captain America 1990. Dude! Okay, I know I said I was gonna try to come up with something optimistic, and we're on number two. I just completely broke my own rule. Oh my. Bro, he looks like if you tried to make a Play Doh face but fucked it up. I don't wanna make fun of it because it's like early 90s, and they did good for what. Now, honestly, no, they didn't do good for what they did because Star Wars was what? 77? You saw the prosthetic Star Wars had. There's no excuse for this. I don't know how to feel about that. Dude, his eyes. Okay, let's just let's just find time to appreciate the the MCU Red Skull and how beautiful he looks. Because this <sighs> That's a problem. That's gonna haunt it's like what time is it? Like almost almost midnight. It is going to haunt me when I go to bed. And, oh. Dude, did you guys even know that existed? I didn't even know that existed. That is terrifying. I'm gonna just go to the next one. Doctor Strange from Doctor Strange. Okay, that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. I have a feeling some of these are just gonna be like the older versions. Those aren't the worst because they're earlier adaptations. Unless we're talking about this guy. This guy is vile. This is something different. This is something out of a Looney Tunes. This is not, bro. This is like one of the Teletubbies who like got kicked out and just went rogue. This is a rogue Teletubby. That's what he is. A rogue G.I. Joe Teletubby with a Play-Doh face. But now something like this, this is just an early version. I don't have much problems with this. I think it's kind of drippy. I think it works. Okay, now, listen. I was going to try to be optimistic. I, I know I... So I know I just said about thir 30 seconds ago 
the older versions of things oftentimes aren't as bad as they as we think they are i didn't think i'd be proven wrong within five seconds because this is kind of vile this is not only is it impractical it's it's very tight it, did you have you guys seen the shield of this thing have you seen the shield i'm gonna play a video of this shield it is the funniest thing it's literally like like a plastic disc like when he throws it, it's so funny I feel like this suit is infamously known though, like everybody knows how bad this suit is. It's almost like so bad you can't hate it, but I don't know, the motorcycle helmet's sort of okay. It's sort of cool. Maybe a paint job could work. Dude, the mask though. Aw, oh, dude, oh I could zoom in. Wait, y'all know what I gotta do now. Oh my god! Dude, I'm not getting over this guy. Dude, why does he look like he works at the farmer's market? Oh my god! I'm sorry, he looks, he, dude, he looks like a sun-dried tomato. I don't, he looks like a raisin, dude. Oh my god. This one I don't have that many problems with. It's just more or less an older suit that you can't really get too mad at him. Oh yeah, look, 79. You can't get too mad at them for making something like this in the early. But again, like Star Wars was 77 and Star Wars made Darth Vader on a shoestring budget. That's just going to be my standard. I'm just going to start comparing everything to Star Wars in the 77. Because like, come on. Like, Lucas set that standard. He ha Do you guys know the budget for the original Star Wars? Dude, it was crazy low. I'm going to find it and look it up. Because it was like no one believed in that movie. And the, the stuff they... Oh, my God. That's my standard. That's why I'm setting everything so high. Number five, what do we got? Green Gal... Ah, uh, yeah. See, I knew he'd be out here. Okay, this is one... I don't really have a problem with this one. To be honest, I'm going to be I'm gonna be that guy. I'm going to have a hot take. I don't really have a problem with um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Harry. I know it's kind of weird and people don't like his inclusion, but I mean, I've never, truthfully, I've never had a problem with the movie, never had a problem with the character. Yeah, sure, the design's a little funky, but if you follow the story, it makes sense. He's sick. He infects himself with the goblin stuff. Not much of an issue with it there. Definitely not to be this high on the list compared to fucking freeze-dried tomato man. Okay, this is a bit, all right. So I've never seen the original Daredevil, to be completely honest with you, but I can tell this is a problem. Um, this definitely looks like one of those early 2000s era movies with that color grading and just the way the HD works. Whoever decided that that should be engraved is just, that's just vile. Like no eye black, no costume. You, you know what? In like these early 2000s superhero movies, they were really going for like minimalistic stuff. They were really going to like stray away from the comic book look. And I think maybe in some cases it worked. In other cases, it clearly didn't. Again, again, I don't really have a problem with the Rhino. I feel like this one's actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, sure, I would love to see a comic accurate Rhino. I'd love to see him like super powered up Hulk, Hulk style. But I mean, it makes sense. It, a mech suit makes sense. They were going for a real grounded look. They were going for something that made practical sense in that universe. Like, I'm, I'm over here trying to explain practicality when they have literally a dude who turns into lightning. Yeah, that's not going to work in my favor. Um, but no, I've never really had a problem with it, especially because he has such a, a minimal role in that movie. Never really had much of an issue with it. Um, but again, I might be I might be biased to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I genuinely love that movie. Okay, I'm going to be... I'm going to probably sin myself here. I don't think I've seen a single X-Men movie. That's a lie. No, I've seen like three. I've not seen this one, though. The only I remember seeing Juggernaut in Deadpool 2. Here's the thing. I said I've seen like three X-Men movies. I can't name which ones I've seen. I definitely need to go back and watch them all. Because I literally kick myself every day for not seeing X-Men movies. I don't know what it was. I just could never get into the X-Men movies. But maybe that's just because I was a stupid kid. I'm stupid now. Maybe I'll watch them. Actually, I should watch them. Where can I watch them? That's not the point. Um, In terms of this costume, I don't have a problem with it. I don't think it I think it looks good. Nice leather work. Maybe an undershirt would work in your favor, brother. I think I would just need to see him with his helmet on. But isn't that the one where like smushes his face though? Yeah, maybe, maybe. I definitely some of these like <coughs> some of these are bad, but they're not like on the level of freeze-dried tomato man. Like that guy's gonna haunt me. 
or like the first Captain America. Some of these are like, eh, but like they sort of missed the mark, but they're nowhere near the other ones that like completely passed the mark. Okay, but why is this one better? Why is this one 30 years prior better? Yeah, sure, it still sucks. He looks like he's in pajamas, but it's better. And honestly, coming from a cosplayer's perspective, I got to appreciate what they're able to do with so little. Like, they're able to take these characters from the comics. I again, I'm trying to be an optimist. I'm going to be honest. The suit sucks. But the optimist in me wants to say that I am impressed and infatuated with how the costume designers of the 1940s up until the 1980s were all able to make stuff like this look so distinguished is the word I'll use. It doesn't look bad, okay? Like, you can tell it's Captain America, probably first appearance, doesn't look bad. Honestly, I don't know why they chose that. If they would've just taken like this shirt, dyed it blue and put it on him, that would work better than what he's wearing. I, I like the more modern Captain America looks. But hey, you know, I wasn't around, so it's not my place to judge, even though that's why I'm making this video. All right, look. Um. <laughs> so this is the third one on the list i've already said i'm biased towards the defense of this movie i've already said i love this movie i already said i love electro but i will be the first to admit they kind of dropped his suit later in the movie when he's got that tech suit and he's got the the suit it looks kind of cool um i like the blue lightning i've never i've never hated it the hoodie is a little weird because it it fits the whole like why are people texting me man like i said it's it's in the realism it makes sense why he's wearing the hoodie but i don't know i feel like again like these like early 2000s were trying to take characters and make them look nothing like their comic appearances and then late 2000s uh, were trying to take characters and make them sort of look like their comic appearances and then like throw random clothes on him or throw random like normal shit on him like this they put a hoodie on him or with the lizard they put they didn't have his um yeah this is gonna help me think they didn't have his lab coat you know i feel like it took us a really long time to finally to kind of get the to kind of get where we wanted with costumes but we got there in the end his new suit in no way home is pretty cool but yeah as far as this one goes if no one pointed it out, I wouldn't have a problem with it. That's what I'll say. Okay, I don't know what her comic book counterpart looks like, to be completely honest with you. So I don't feel, I don't feel as though I'm entitled to rank this one. Uh, I don't feel like I'm qualified. I apologize. Again, I apologize to the X-Men fans. I know I'm, I'm terrible for not watching them yet. Honestly? The only thing you're missing is the skull, bro. How do you make the Punisher without the skull? That's what I'm saying. If you put the skull on there... If you put the skull on there, you got a pretty good-looking Punisher costume. You got a pretty good-looking one, man. Like, that's all I'm saying. You put the skull on there, and you're there. Maybe a little armor, but... For, 19, for early 90s, 1989, you're there. You're almost there. Again, I don't know what your comic counterpart looks like. But I'm going to assume that in this X-Men, this is the one where they went with all the black suits, because I know how they changed Wolverine's suit, that it was definitely a problem. I might not know what your comic counterpart looks like off the top of my head, but I can tell that if you changed to this all, like, the whole dark leather look, it might have been a, a shift for the worst. Again, I, there's too many X-Men on here. For, I, okay, this is a sign. If I get one more X-Men, I'm going to have to watch them all. All right. So, this one's strict because with the release of the Sony Venom, obviously he takes the cake and he is much better than this Venom could ever be in terms of anatomy, design, everything, character. He's, he's so much better, but <clears throat> for when we got him, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know. He doesn't look like Venom. That's what I'll say. He doesn't look like the classic comic Venom that we all know and love. But he also does. Like, we all know he's Venom. I don't know. It was definitely a misstep. I know that Raimi didn't want to put Venom in that movie. He was just kind of forced to. So, I know some of the earlier designs for the um, Spider-Man 3 Venom were really cool. But the one they decided on was just not it. 
I think if you're gonna have Venom, you gotta have the the bigger, musclier, bigger than Spider-Man look. You can't have someone who's smaller than Peter Parker. Um, Venom can't be that kind of a threat. He's gotta be a big symbiotic threat. But also, Venom in Spider-Man 3 was meant to serve as more of a mental threat to Peter rather than a physical one. Video essay planned on that, by the way. All right, you can't be ripping on my boy Howard. We're not ripping on Howard. Uh-uh, nah, How Howard is great. We're not ripping on him. I, I know what Sabretooth looks like. All right, okay, look, this article picked the shittiest picture for me to look at. I can't even rank this one because it doesn't show his costume. So this article did a terrible job on number 17. Okay, now, I wouldn't say the costume itself is bad. Like you got like these nice metallic bands, these nice um, fabric bands that wrap around. I think it would be cool if they wrapped into more like fingerless glove type things. Um, maybe if there was some like tack holsters on the side. I think it would look cool. Uh, obviously she would need her, her headband because that's not in this picture. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if it's in the movie, but I'm not, I've said this a few times, I'm not overly a fan of when they overly sexualize anyone, uh, regardless of who's in the suit. I don't like when they overly sexualize the suit, um, when they have the option to make a very good suit. The example I give for this is uh, Batgirl. Batgirl is a character who has very consistently been portrayed the right way and very consistently been portrayed um, the way like she should be with the armor, the tack, the utility, all that stuff. If they were to go and over-sexualize her, it would be stupid. Or a character like Iron Man. You take Iron Man and overly sexualize him, it doesn't make any sense, right? Um, for characters like this, I know Elektra is portrayed this way in the comics, but that doesn't mean we can't step away from it. Like, movie adaptations, like I said, there's no, there's no shame in stepping away from the initial design to do something better. I'm not... Like the Black Widow in Iron Man 2, why not apply something like that here? I don't know. Um, I haven't seen the movie, so again, can't really judge it too hard. If it is a character that needs to fit that certain standard, I can't be one to judge that. Doctor Doom Fantastic Four. Huh. The only thing I really have a problem with was his mask. It, it just kind of looks like, like a Lego, like geometric, blocky. Other than that, never really had a big problem with Doom. He looked kind of funky as a kid, but you know... Like I said, it was early 2000s where they were trying to adapt all that new stuff. So I can't really be too mad about it. Alright, nah, we're not doing that. Nope, we're not doing that. That is a beautiful suit. It is a beautiful mask and helmet. And it was awesome. I don't care if it looks inaccurate. It is cool. Yes, the initial design would have been better. But that is cool. Alright, it is iconic. We're not doing that one. How are there more? And how does this one look worse than the other two? This one looks like a wax sculpture. That You're telling me that's a dude? You know he's not getting out of that. He put that on, he is cemented for life. What are the ears? His ears. <coughs> His ears just poking out. Bro, he just looks like a wax sculpture. He looks like if you lit him on fire, he would burn like a candle. No way, dude. That's, that'd be a cool pose for drawing, though. Not gonna lie. His shield looks significantly better than this one, though. It's not just the flimsy frisbee shield. This is a better shield, so I'll give him that. And the wings. But the ear, I can't get over the ears, dude. God, they ha he has to be bald under that. That is so tight. My God, that guy must have been paid a lot. But again, I like these t the tack gloves. I like that. They're stepping up. They're moving up in the right direction. Crazy to think that that was only, like, what, 20 years before uh, the first Avenger? Maybe, maybe, give or take. Johnny Blaze goes right. Okay, but, like... No, that's wrong. You can't really get Johnny Blaze wrong. He's just leathered up and he got that right. What, are you saying you're mad he's Nick Cage? Nick Cage is a national icon. What, leathered up? They, they got Johnny Blaze pretty okay. I would say so. Again, I'm an optimist. I'm going to be fighting for all of these. Man Thing. There's a Man Thing movie? What the hell? I can't even see the photo. Alright, honestly, I can't even see that with my mask. It's all just blended in. I feel like they could really make a cool man thing movie um, with like the CGI and, and the practical effects that they have now. I'd love to see a giant man thing statue. That'd be cool. Looking at it now, it does look kind of shiny. If that's his face, that's fucked up. I think I do know what her comic counterpart looks like. And again, I'm not really a total... I don't really have the biggest problem with when they went with the darker colors. I think for some characters it works. Like with her, with like Dark Phoenix, it worked. 
I don't know. Again, I need to. There's a lot of X Men movies, and I haven't seen like any of them. I, I'm really digging myself a grave for that. Speaking of which, they're putting a lot of X Men people on here. Maybe I shouldn't watch them. I'm a Frost X Men First Class. I just don't feel it's fair if I haven't seen the movies, man. But they are pretty. Mo I think half of this list has been X Men. So I think that says a lot about the X Men costume department. Ah, oh, come on. Nah, here, here I'm gonna disagree with that. I'm disagreeing with that just for the absolute pinnacle of innovation that the thing served in 2005. In 2005, the prosthetics of this guy were insane. This is incredibly impressive for 2005 prosthetics. And it was an entire wearable suit that was all practical. No CGI needed. So, I don't think he should be on this list. I think this is a very impressive suit and very remarkable. Yeah, sure, it looks goofy, but again, it's early 2000s. They all look goofy. But nah, this is impressive. This is great. I like that one. And, bro, where is he finding shirts that fit? Alright, whoever made this list really hates X-Men. That's what I gotta say. How do you get Cyclops wrong? You just don't do the colors? Because they apparently didn't do the colors. The blue and yellow, and they just didn't do it. I feel like if they just took that design and gave him the classic blue and yellow color scheme, it would work. This is definitely a sign for either me to watch X-Men or just redesign all the X-Men suits. Probably both. There's another one. Actually, I like this one. To be completely honest, I know Storm looks different. She has like, her eyes are lit up. Her hair is longer. She has a headpiece. And I know she has, she's got like the skirt here and the colors. But I actually think I dig the, maybe if the colors, I don't know. I like the suit design itself as a suit, but maybe not for Storm. It's a great suit design. The wig, the wig is kind of throwing me off. I think the wig is throwing me off. It's a great suit design, but not for Storm. You know? But again, I just don't feel like I have enough credibility or enough leeway to talk about the X-Men if I haven't seen them. No, dude! No, uh-uh. Yo, okay. Whoever made this list either hates the X-Men or hates dark colored suits. One of the two. You cannot put the black Spider-Man suit, one of the best Spider-Man suits, on a worst Marvel list. Nah, uh-uh. No way. I think this entire list just lost credibility with that one pick. There ain't no way they did that. I'm not even going to talk about this one. Sue Storm, Fantastic Four. Alright, why, why we got a problem with Sue? Why we got a problem with Sue? They're all the same suits. They're all identical suits. Why do we got a problem? Who made this list? I want to find who made this list. And have a little conversation with them. Let's talk. Who made this list? 2019. Ranker Comics. Ranker Comics? Fuck you, dude. You did not. You disappointed heavily. Actually, to be honest. I'm not going to stop thinking about Crazy Man. But, other than that. That was incredibly wrong on so many levels. Well, anyway, um, that was a quick little video. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun after I finished my finals. I'm probably going to be editing this video in school, too, because I still have classes to go to. I don't know why they do classes after finals. Um, I'm really tired. I still have commissions I got to get done before Christmas. But, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.